Welcome back to another market size video. Today is Tuesday, the 26th of January. We're going to have a quick look on euro, dollar, pound, dollar, dollar against yen. Before we go into the Elliott Wave analysis, just a quick summary of what happened yesterday in the markets. Monday, uh, the dollar actually kicked the week off on a positive uh, tone. Uh, investors seem to be expecting that Fed will remain supportive. This is dovish. And this dovish signal, of course, or expectation, let's say for now, uh, is driving safe haven demand. Uh, and flows into the dollar with there is of course also increased likelihood that we're going to see the the stimulus package passing through and that's one way or another because now biden uh, is actually willing to make concessions because there is a lot of debate about how big the stimulus is and how many uh, how big the actual checks are to individuals uh, from uh, republicans and uh, with the concessions now actually actually this is indicating that we're going to see the relief package coming on sooner uh, or soon at least there's not going to be much debate until uh, February 8 or 9 where they want to pass it through before the, uh, the, the Trump's impeachment trial. Now, in Europe, um, well, obviously that also drove flows for euro dollar. Yeah, euro fell initially in the in the in the during the day because uh, the G German IFO <laughs> were very disappointing, uh, but down the line as well also because Lagarde um, made some dovish comments. Actually, she said that. That the Europe is still plagued by the uh, coronavirus and there is very high level of uncertainty. But she did underscore that the recovery is indeed a little bit delayed, but should not be de derailed. Now that delay that she's actually mentioned reiterated fears that uh, it is indeed the slow rollout of vaccines in Europe that is affecting currently uh, flows in the euro. Okay. Now, when it comes to the pound and dollar yen, obviously pound we didn't really see much headlines, but we can really uh, associate the declines with dollar's uh, strength. And similarly, dollar yen, uh, you know, it's uh, it's a bit bit different situation because uh, yen is also safe haven. So we're going to have a quick look on the technicals on the yen. Uh, actually. Uh, in the last uh, technical analysis of today's video. So let's just jump straight in. As you can see on Euro dollar, if you, ha if you have been following guys, I mean, this was a very nice decline here from 123.50 down to 120.50. This is like 300 pips. Very good opportunity we identified a few uh, weeks back. Now, uh, after this uh, move on the downside down here, yeah, and double bottom that we we're expecting paralysis to, to bounce, Anyway, uh, we resist this ABC. Okay, I was expecting prices actually to stop at 38.2, but it, it looks like we moved a little bit higher and we didn't get the 50. That's why I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit concerned, which means for the moment at least, I'm looking at this as a B wave, which means we ended the correction. And I'm expecting a continuation down in waves here of four. Now, literally, we can go down to 119, but I don't think we're going to cross one. 1950 to be honest now the signals are mixed but whatever the case is they are looking at more downside as well okay and um this is good in terms of what we're looking now because we didn't get the 50 and because we remained between the area for a while and because i'm not sure about this structure yeah i mean not sure like in terms of liking it uh it could be a case where if we actually bounce over here because we had the first bounce. It's very possible that we're going to shoot higher. And this is going to become a W, X and Y instead. OK, it's very possible. And that way also we're most likely going to uh, to get to the previous wave four as well, which is uh, above 122. Now, when we go to GBP USD, um, we were looking at this as an X and we were looking at this uh, as a triangle to be honest a while ago but now uh, it looks like to me that instead of a triangle here because those uh, have a better symmetry those lows and those highs okay uh, for that reason i look i'm looking at this as an a b and a c this is like an ascendant triangle okay um, so this a b c ended down here and now we've got one two three four and five a b i'm expecting another wave down for c but 
I wouldn't want to go below 135.84. We could still go, but just remain bullish, 135.84. Once we get there, then we'll continue higher. Uh, and I'm expecting actually to go to around 139, 139.70 or so, and then start moving lower. And now we talked about all the potential for a reversal as well last week. But the truth is because we interacted with the previous wave one over here, I'm not sure I like this too much unless if this is like a top okay we did one two three four five we ended up here okay that's the end and that means that one two three four we're gonna get a five that's going to be some sort of open open leading diagonal but i doubt this is the case i think we're gonna get another high and it's very possible that we're gonna see that turning into a diagonal because we are in the last uh wave of this uh, triple zigzag in wave z and quickly on dollar yen, as I said, things are a bit different here because we've got some uh, yen flows coming in as well. I do not change my view over here. I'm still expecting this expanded flat to end, yes, around uh, 104.56. Now we've got wave one and two, then one, two, three, four, and five. That's wave three. This is wave four, yes, and we're going to get wave five. It's very possible that this is a triple zigzag. That's why I've got it labeled as such, because I don't like this for an impulse, okay? I mean, I don't think anyone likes this as an impulse because we've got, okay, let's assume we start here. This is one, two, three, four, and five. It could be a case and one, two, three, and then we'll move higher. But I'll be honest, because of corrective structures over here, and then this looks a little bit corrective over here as well, as, as it goes up uh, that's why I tend towards this scenario that this is going to be triple zigzag okay so this is all what I'm looking for the day okay so thank you for watching and we'll speak again tomorrow